Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a um, basic eyeballs and make it basic tracking system. So as you can see here, I have two eyeballs. And if I move this center button, it will move both eyeballs into a direction that you want. So if I wanted to look at the camera, which is spelled there, they will look at the camera. Also, using this rigging system, you can move individual eyeballs. So if I want him to look weird I can just do that all right so let's get started so let's go into our other scene well for me it's another scene and shift a and let's make our sphere I like to use a sphere because it's very easy to make an eyeball with a sphere rather than anything else all right so push tab and go into here so first make your eyeball color let's make it white a very nice bright white Okay, now press C and it brings up a select tool which is round so you can select whatever you want. Alright, so I use this to select where I want the iris and pupil to be. So I want the iris to be there to cover that area. Alright, so click add new on that little thing there. New. And let's give him brown eyes. Um, that looks brown to me. And click assign. Make sure you have them selected, otherwise they won't assign. Right, so now, select your centerpiece, where you want the, pre the pupil to be. Click Add New again, and make your pupil colour, which is going to be black, obviously. Click Assign. And now you have your basic eyeball, already. Alright, now click Modifier, Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface. Click this, it will smooth the surface very slightly, and you can make it higher to smooth it more. Do not use up as many pulleys because when you subsurf and click apply it uses more and more vertices. Let's undo. Alright. So if you don't want to use as many, click smooth. Just on the left side, um it flat smooth and it smooths the object already for you. And then if you still think it doesn't look smooth enough, just put it up a little bit. Right, I'm not going to do that because it might run slow, so click apply. Now move that to where you want it to be for, like, your second eyeball is going to be there. Move the camera and create a armature. Alright, move that armature to the center of the eyeball. Alright. If you want to make the um, armature see-through, because as you can see, as soon as it goes in the object, like most objects, it you can't see it anymore. To make it so it's see-through, click there on the object data and click X-ray. Now that will constantly be see-through, so you can always see your bone. I like to do that because I like to always see my bones. Right, I like to make the um, armature a bit smaller, because if you're making a face, it's going to take up the whole face if you have a big armature. Right, now click on your eyeball now click constraint object constraints add a constraint and click track 2 now select your armature mine's armature 3 zero, zero, 003 because I already have armatures in the other scene yours should just be armature that's it right so click your armature then here click your bone now as you can see it's facing upwards to just fix that push tab and select all by pushing A and rotate it forward 90 degrees. Right now you have, if I move the bone, a basic eyeball. Now all you have to do is get the whole eyeball. It lets me select it. There you go. And press Shift D and make a copy. Move that as much far away as you want. I like to hold TTRL to make it exactly. And put it exactly there. Oh, no, not there there so that way it's same width apart from the center right now the bone will automatically work for that one so now you already have your two bones what you've got to do now is make your other bone bring it forward select these two bones without selecting the eyeballs if you select the eyeballs it'll go wrong and then select that one so you've got to select the small bones first and then select the big one press CTRL P and click bone 
you can see there's a long list click bone at the bottom if you click that now when I move the object both will move at the same time as you can see and that's basically how you make a basic rigging system for eyes thanks for wa watching I hope this has helped and uh,